Hello and welcome back to Random Romania. We're back in the cabin today and we've got this battery pack here which is particularly interesting. This is a friend of mine who builds these things and he's sponsoring our channel now. So this particular unit and this particular setup we're going to show you here is perfect for this kind of small cabin. Now um, I'm going to quickly go through if, if, if you buy this kit this is what you'd have to do once you've got it out of the box. The, these cables are pretty easy to connect that's just like wiring a plug or connecting a you know if you've ever put a plug on something it's as simple as that you have to connect the two cables for the solar panels two cables for the battery and then there's a I just got one of these extension leads cut it in half and wired both ends into the into the inverter here and this one goes into your grid power or your generator so this is not 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 connected and you're going to see the battery's got some charge in it and we're going to connect the panels outside. So in terms of price for all this setup, we don't have a price exactly on it and it, all the price details we put in the comments, sorry, in the description below because price is constantly updated and I didn't want to include that in the video. Anyway, the first step to this, which we'll go through now to show you really how simple this is. I mean, bear in mind, you can get this stuff on the back of an ATV on a trailer. So if you want to go and tow a go up in the mountains and set yourself up with an army tent or something you could literally get proper power supply with the you'll see the panels they're just they're just put on the ground outside for now you'll you'll see how simple this is so we <coughs> first thing to do is connect the battery um, this one is turned off here it's only 50 volts or something anyway so it's not going to harm you but it's a better idea to have it switched off. So that's the battery, simple as that. I'm not going to turn it on yet. Put these little safety covers on. And now we go outside to look at the solar panels. So we're outside now. You can see we've got these eight solar panels here. I believe they're about 450 watts a piece by the book. I don't know if we'll get those out of them. They're really simple to connect in, in, in this configuration. This is just a loop of solar panels, right? So you've got these two, two wires here that the, the positive goes in and then the, they, they connect around in a big loop like that. So I'll connect a couple of the, I've left a, a couple of disconnected to show you how this works. These things just connect like that. Oops, a bit unstable. So they connect like that and if you want to disconnect them you just you just squeeze them like that yeah there you go this is the last one so now remember there's no power to the battery and there's no power to the inverter from the grid and you connect that and that beep is a inverter powering up okay so we go back inside okay now here's you can see the the inverters powered up here now all, all that's done is powered the, the inverter from the solar panels. Um, I can get information up on this display by pressing some of these buttons, but I've actually got a pretty nifty piece of software that I'm going to show you. So the next thing is to turn the battery on. We, we do that, and then we press this little button and that's on. This uses a CEPLOS battery uh, management system, which is a fairly standard one. You can Google that if you want to know what that is. And uh, now we power the inverter on. And that'll beep for a bit. And now, let's see what it's doing. Now the, that, that, yeah, this is like, <laughs> it's funny, it made me laugh this when I saw it. It's like one of those, uh, those, those batteries you have for the, for the phone, you know? And it just has a little, four lights and one flashes so you know it's charging and uh, if you look come and look at this display here you've got a, you've got a graphical display here so there's no input grid power because we're not we've got this uh, this is just uh, here that's the grid power um, you've got 230 volts out you can see the battery charging there and you can see the photovoltaics putting power into the battery now if I were to disconnect the photovoltaic now it's the the solar panels now it's connected up it'll just run off the battery so here we are that's all that's all good now now the next thing this is a raspberry pi um 
This battery is a prototype, by the way, and uh, it's uh, one I got early to have a look at and to uh, promote, basically, because we reckon this is about the cheapest good quality system you can do. This battery, this, by the way, has a, a battery from an electric car in it, so it's like an EV, a lithium ion or whatever they have in, but uh, all the spec will be in the, in the details below. And it, it's particularly good because it's upcycling a battery from a car. So even if the battery has been used a bit, uh, they're still perfectly good for running these kind of systems. So for those who are not familiar with this, this is a little Linux computer called a Raspberry Pi. Now, what I've got here is this one, this cable here plugs into the port for the BMS. Now, what that's going to do is allow the, the computer to be sent critical battery information so we can check the, the, the status of the, the battery. And this one plugs in here. And we do the same now for the, the same for the inverter. This is just a normal USB power. We stick that in there. You see these little lights that shows the, the Raspberry Pi is powering. The red one's a power light. That's a data access light. You've got on this USB here some um now it's now it's showing you it's talking to the battery okay and the the it's it's uh, booting now if we plug this into the internet uh we can access all this information on the internet but we don't have internet in here at the moment so what's cool about this if it doesn't detect an internet signal from the well, it doesn't detect internet through the port here it now broadcasts the wi-fi connection its own wi-fi connection so i go onto my wi-fi settings and it comes up here solar assistant this is a, a third party piece of software you can buy yourself and set up in, in fact you can just this part you can you can do yourself but we can do this for you if need be now it's it's connected to the excuse my phone screen here so there you go it's saying no internet because it's obviously not got an internet because it's connected to that if i go in here type the ip for the software which is already in there, cached in there. Now, here you go. So, you've got, the, even though it's cloudy at the moment, there's a little bit of sun, you see you've got 640 watts coming in on the panels, and all that's going into the battery, because there's no load coming from the, out from the battery. And just here, something I prepared earlier, if I go back on the logs here, and go back two days, right? Uh, let me go back a bit further if I can. Seven days, right? You can see this is what I've been using it to power various other, like washing machine and dishwasher and whatever. And it's coping with that quite nicely. I can give you more more detail, much more detailed information if you just uh, request contact details in the bot underneath on the video, on the, um, on the comments. So this gives you live information. This will work online. So there you have it. So let's have a play around and put some things on. Uh, these are, this is an induction hob, but this is a very good way to use a lot of electricity. So if you press this on now, that comes on, press that, and now that's heating that. If you watch that there, when that, when that goes solid, that'll turn on. Now, it, now it's loaded up there with 1300 watts, you see? And I can see real time what's going on. So that's the induction hob. Now I'm going to punish it more by putting this kettle on, which is kettles use a lot of power. So we stick the kettle on and now the batteries, the load's gone up to nearly four kilowatts, you see, and the fans come on because it's loading up some proper power. So there you go, four kilowatts. We'll just leave this to, to heat up for a bit. You've got, you can see what it's using power wise. I just want to show you that this is a stable, stably doing six, uh, nearly four kilowatts, but this will go up to six kilowatts on a steady load. Okay, so we're back, the, the kettle's turned itself off and you see the power's dropped off there. And now this, this uh, that was typical time to for a kettle to boil, probably two minutes or something, I guess. And now this is uh, starting to, bubble away this water in here so the, these things these induction hobs are fantastic for cooking because it, it's sensing the temperature so if you want to hold a pan at a certain temperature all you do is you just press that and you set the temperature you've got a slider there 
like that or you can just put it where you want and it's it's very good because if you want to just leave something simmering well, after a while you get used you get familiar with the pans and the amount of power you need and you can just let something bubble away and cook perfectly it's a very nice thing to cook with but um if you want to get up and running with cooking um and on electric it's a, a very nice way to do this so that's holding that just to show you that's holding that will hold that at a simmer now because i put it on 10 and that's using it about 500 watts 600 watts something like that uh, if that if that had already boiled that would just be simmering away now so anyway there you go so just a quick recap this is a battery this is we, we reckon, reckon this is a really good deal if you want a battery for an off-grid cabin speak to us all the details are in the in the description of this video if you want to get in contact with us just request contact details in the comments and we'll be in touch and the the, the components are the the battery the panels and the inverter and uh, there was one cable here which I just got this extension lead like I said and, and cut that in half and used it for lead and out power and this thing's rather good because it's got USB ports and other things on and more sockets so that was just a handy thing to have and that's it there you go off grid power really off grid anyway hope you enjoyed the video and uh, we'll see you soon for another one bye for now